Hello dear listener, I am Craig of Diz After Dark and today's show is what we refer to as a lock-in episode. What this means is we have an adult theme to the show which includes both rude and sexual grown-up words which may cause offence and is definitely not suitable for children. If you are easily offended, we recommend not listening to this episode. If, however, this has piqued your interest, come into the mouse's head. We're about to have a lock-in. Now also, don't forget, Magical Trips are wonderful app that is our show sponsor magical trips by emily roran if you're planning a trip then this app is magical now cue the show bonnie face is a member of the mice chat podcast (laughs) network micepod.com contains childish adult content and is intended for immature and mature audiences. Listener discretion is advised. The views spoken are ours and ours alone, not those of any other bugger. If you're easily offended, we strongly suggest finding another podcast. Everybody neat and pretty, then on with the show. The calm before the storm. <laughs> Thank you for that 30 seconds of silence whilst we played that bit. Uh, welcome Quite back to the, I know, I know. Welcome back to the mouse's head for uh, another episode of Diz After... I've lost count where we are now, and frankly, you'll all see why. I'm Paul. I'm Nick. I'm Paul D. I'm Craig. And joining us in the mouse's head today, we have another two ladies. It's almost like we're actually getting popular and inviting the ladies round. No, we're not. Nah, of course not. Ladies, would you like to introduce yourselves? Yes. Go on, um, one of I'm you. Jen, otherwise known as Irish Vixen. And, and where are you from, Irish Vixen? I am from the United States and Escanaba, Michigan, which is in the Upper Peninsula. Oh. See, I didn't think the accent was actually that Irish, I've got to be honest. Oh. Well, that explains it. And, and who else do we yeah, have? <laughs> Go on. Don't say she's gone quiet on us. Hi, I'm Blue Carson. <laughs> that will do. <laughs> <laughs> and I am also in the United States and currently in the Walt Disney World area in Florida. Fantastic. And what an area it is as well. Yes. 42 square miles of fun. I believe it's the size of Manchester, is it not? Very specific fun tonight, I feel. Manchester, England, England. I'm impressed that you used my, miles as the as the unit of measure I, for the I, area. I, I, well, of course, other, other terms of measure are dare. available. <laughs> oh, I've already sighed. You can get away with it, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Um, gentlemen, uh, uh, that, how, how, what are we drinking? Would it surprise you that I've gone for something stiff? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> no. So uh, straight up, num- huh? Yeah, yeah. Number number seven. Oh, number seven. Uh, had to be done. Uh, I'll 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 soon move on to uh, a softer version of that. But you know, I thought I'd start stiff and 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 see uh, if I could go softer old, later on. Old old Jack. Mm. He's out, is he? Original. Yeah, not gentleman this time. Uh, original. Just the original. Fantastic. Mm. Have, you, have you seen the bottles of um, Frank Sinatra Select? Uh, I no, I've I've I heard I heard about it, but I've not seen them. Are they out? Are they out yet? You can, you can pick them up in various airport duty free bars, but I haven't seen them anywhere else. So. Oh yeah, well I've been doing a lot of flying recently. Yeah, yeah uh, as you as you know. <sighs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to rub it in, Mr. D. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think I've got one that's appropriate for times at Disney and for tonight's show. It's a bottle of beer called Good Times. That's sweet. And I got that when I was recently up in Scotland. 
Cheers. Excellent. Nice. <sighs> I've done it again. Stop it. Stop, Stop it. Stop it. Craig, jump in quick. Yeah. Unfortunately, I am in work in approximately an hour and a half's time. So I am drinking Dr. So Pepper. Vodka. Yeah. Dr. Pepper. And it's. You, ha- you have Dr. Pepper over there? Oh, yeah. We have, we have KFC have as well, you know. Well, yeah, but Dr. Pepper you can't even get everywhere in the U.S. You know what? That's very we true. Almost, I, I learned that have, recently yeah. as well. We almost have Mountain Dew as well. Oh, we do have Mountain Dew. What, of, what does almost have Mountain well, Dew mean? Not quite the same, <laughs> yeah. It's not quite the same Mountain Dew. It's like knockoff yeah. Mountain Dew. Yeah. It's, it's a different recipe. Does yours no. have real sugar in it? No, but they're yellow. Um, no, that's what makes our Mountain Dew not... Me- oh, no, actually, no, the Mountain Dew does have sugar in it. Yes, it does have sugar in it, it over does. here. It doesn't, have quite as, it doesn't have quite as much caffeine or as many BMXs advertising it. That That is true. Um, we also have... We now have four Taco Bells in the whole country. Good God. Uh, I have two oh. near to me. But, yeah, we, we have four Taco Bells in the country. <laughs> Wendy's, unfortunately, left about ten years ago. Yeah. I really miss Wendy's. The um, fact that you know exactly how many... Taco Bells are in your entire country amuses me. He's a font, font of knowledge, but there's, there's unfortunately four. that particular question there's has four. not come up in any pub quizzes Nick goes to. We should uh, make it a mission to visit that. each Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to go up to uh, uh, Sheffield yeah. uh, so he just goes to Taco Bell. Um, there's now um, just over 25 guys we have over here now. 20, um, 25 guys? We had... <laughs> so there are five, <laughs> what, there are five, five guys, or there are 20... There five are 20 guys. locations of the Five Guys franchise. Okay, because mathematically, um, 25 guys is just five Five Guys. We that's, had a, one... that's 100 guys, isn't it? Yeah. 25 guys? It's too much five. math. Yeah, <laughs> too, much uh, math. Uh, too much alcohol for not enough math. Oh, come on, um, my, my we, head's dropping here. We had one Long John <laughs> Silvers. <laughs> had one Long John Silvers, but that's now gone as well. Um, what else? Uh, we, we have no In-N-Out Burgers. We have no in and out burgers. We're, we're after those. Which is shame because um, you can't beat a bit of in and out. We've got five Chipotle's. Does any, any other American chains anyone want to ask me about? I'll answer the question right now. Subways, Nick. How many Subways? Subways. Too Not, many to mention. Too many, Next too many. question. <laughs> in- what about White Castles? Do you have that? No, no White Castles. Do you have White Castles here? No White Castles. I'm, I'm, oh, sure, got, I'm, I'm sure we two, do, but it comes in three got, litre bottles of really cheap lager. We've got two, uh, we've got two Hooters. <laughs> We are. I've got two hooters in the country as well. Luckily, yeah. luckily enough, they come in pairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that four hooters? I think they need to have a restaurant kind of like hooters, but uh, the men are the waiters. There's no, you know, for us ladies, we need something like that. We need to come to Poss- his head. Possibly I know with technically a, you're here now. But possibly with a German theme. Rounds. Like the yeah. first or something. We, we are, I mean, uh, Would you take your shirt off and walk around like that? You yeah. Would. I, I yeah, could, like but it, it, you, you would see the British theme where everything looks a bit like a barrel when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, the thing is, we'd, ha- we'd happily do it. I think, you know, all of us would happily do it. I don't think you'd necessarily be as happy with the results as you was expecting, but we'd certainly be happy to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's no Twin Peaks or Tilted Kilt. <laughs> I've, got, I've got Twin Peaks. <laughs> anyway. Um, Ladies, what are you drinking? Have... Yeah, that's Because, you know, we invite you to here as well. I'm drinking a, uh, well, almost a cocktail from my book. So, because my book has cocktails. Yes, we, 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 shall, so. we shall very much get onto that in a minute. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm doing an, an almost one, just like you have almost Mountain Dew. I'm doing an almost <laughs> cocktail from the book because I didn't have everything that goes in it. <laughs> I only put me cocktails. Sometimes you don't. Yeah. So uh, instead of doing the full thing, it's basically... It's come down to coffee with uh, some Baileys and Kahlua I've, in it. I, I, I've tried that with an almost Long Island iced tea, where I didn't actually have any Coke or sweet and sour, so I just had to put the five white spirits and drink it. <laughs> Does it still taste like iced tea? Not yes. in the slightest. It's actually disgusting. But, <laughs> but it got the job done. It got, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't feel bad the rest of the afternoon. Just, Okay, I am. I am, I am drinking a rum and coke. Uh, the rum that I put in here is really strong. It's uh, black seal, and it's really dark. So I'm kind of. I'm on my second one, and it's really potent. Ooh. 
So we're gonna kind of stick this. It's good. Well, I've um, I I was gonna stick with a Pirates of the Caribbean theme because I'm actually all out of rum. So I have <laughs> opening uh, some Adnams Broadside. That that's an, that's a, that's a can of Adnams Broadside. Adnams, eh? Nice. Yeah, a lot, I see a lot of Adnams nowadays. Yeah. Must yeah. be popular or something. Um, well, either that or there's just a lot of them left on the shelf because no, no one well, buys it. That, that, that's, that's, also, that's also true. That is true. Um, right. Um, before we head into the next bit, I meant to do this before and yeah. I forgot to. So I, I apologise for, for, for these people involved. But um, a few, a couple of months ago now, um, I actually um, asked for a bit of uh, feedback on social media, um, specifically people that hadn't necessarily heard the show before. All right, so so uh, plugged in a few different avenues and um, asked if, if people listened. Of course, uh, no one replied. No, I'm joking. Three people uh, in particular replied uh, with, with both good and not so good um, views this of the show. Th- three people two months ago. No, no. Uh, one, of the, one of their feedback Craig, was it takes so long me. to get back to feedback. Yeah. Well, that is true. That's also true. But um, <laughs> the people... <laughs> it's the nature thing tonight. Um, but the people that I wanted to, to say thank you for, for listening and giving some feedback, good and bad... Uh, I've died. Are, 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 well, not, not just yet, but they it might do, do, might do after hearing the name on this show. Uh, in joyous rupture might be the end of them. Uh, Paul Washington, um, Eddie Lowe... Uh, Eddie female, Eddie, female Eddie Lowe <laughs> and uh, Mark Turner as well so appreciate it because the, the thing is like we always we don't necessarily want people to kind of kiss our ass and say oh, your show's great if you don't like it tell us as well and we've got both good and bad feedback from them and what is a thank you for listening and also for giving us another try in instances where you weren't and uh, please just say that um, one of the people that did um, not like one of our shows and I said give us another go did uh, and actually said, you know what, I enjoyed the next show, so uh, appreciate you doing that. And I, I, course- I, that that's, that's lovely, thank you very much. I, I think that goes a long way to show the actual quality yeah. of our shows from show to show. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> at, at, least, but- at least we're totally inconsistent and we'll surprise you like that. But please say people... nice things about this episode. Please. I'll, I'll, yes, I, I, please. I don't, it will, it will hurt think, my feelings. Really, ladies, I don't think... I this really might be our biggest ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, th- I don't <laughs> think we'll have a problem with this one. But for people that do, after listening to this show, want to say how great it was... That's almost a professional They can segment. contact us using our website, www.disafterdark.com, or they can email us at podcast at disafterdark.com. And we're on Twitter, at disafterdark. Facebook.com forward slash disafterdark and we're on macechat.com. We are an Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Bebo, MySpace. Um, we've even got a Chinese branch on Baidu, um, <laughs> probably somewhere. Did you? Yeah. Um, so I, 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 Teddy, Teddy Text. Yeah. <laughs> smoke, uh, smoke Vimeo. I don't know. That really There's too many social media. Except, except on Google, because no one's on Google anymore. Google Hangouts, yeah, you're probably true there. Yeah. Um, but I think you know, um, one of our guests kind of alluded to the fact that um, she's recently written a book. We have. Now, some people might have come across uh, Blue already um, elsewhere or on the interweb. Oh uh, dear, that Craig. as well. And I'm glad that it's taken us how long into the show? Is it nine minutes now into the show before we've got that first one out? Yeah. But, but for those that don't know about Blue and her book, would you please tell us uh, about your book? I think Jen should tell about my book because she wrote Ooh. that awesome review yeah, Jen, Jen on her website. Ma- Jen is the mouse's head book reviewer, the only person in this bar who can actually read. <laughs> well, that's only because my favourite book was Where's Wally. I didn't think there was a problem with that. Or well, luckily America's I have an audio book. Mm. What, well, Where's Wally? Where's Wally? <laughs> oh, where's was- Waldo? Yeah, that well, would be I the dullest book audio. ever, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, I have to get the audio because I'm going to use that audio and give it to my brother. I would love your audio book. That would be so nice. But I, I actually got it off of Amazon, and uh, I couldn't read it fast enough. I'm not a big reader in this book. Me oh either. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I read it, and then I read it again to my husband in bed. 
and it's just oh my god these are the things that i either have almost done or thought about doing a lot of the things in the book and just for the lead readers who aren't aware of the nature of the book or, or listeners even or, or listen what did i say readers readers um, I mean, they would be they would be readers if they had the book in front of them. Yeah, yeah. But as they're listening to the podcast, I think we still need to refer to them as listeners. Did I mention the bottle of red I've had today as well? Um, catch up, catch up. Yeah, that's it. They they could all be on Amazon right now or iTunes, grabbing the book and reading it as we speak. So well, they, they bloody well should be. Yeah, could be readers also. Yeah, yes. could be readers. Would not- be readers. Listeners to the podcast. Anyone else who may have stumbled across it. Um. Or hasn't found it yet. Uh, it's it's quite an, an adult book. So when we're talking about things to do in and around Disney World, we're not necessarily talking having taken your kids with you. Right. Yeah. No. Well, I mean that's why it's called Dark Rides, erotic yeah. Disney theme park adventures. Exactly. That's the one this to look is, for on Amazon. Yeah. This is adults only by Blue Carson. Yeah. You set your stall out quite early there with the word um, erotic. So I'd like to think that Noel would pick it up by accident and start to read it as a bedtime story for their children. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I hope not. And I mean, if you go to Amazon and iTunes, there's a, a listen button so you can hear a little bit of the audiobook, like a five minute sample. There's also, um, a, I believe there's a little bit of a, a read you know, intro to it. I'm not sure how far it goes because my publisher set all that up. I don't do that, but. And your publisher um, was? Leonard Kinsey from uh, Bamboo Forest oh, Publishing. We, we have had Leonard on before now. He was yes. also responsible for writing a. Uh, Dark Side of Disney. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Another alternative Disney book. It's I just got reading his book too. Oh my God, that's a good book. Yeah, I think he needs to give me a kickback. I think I'm getting his sales up. I talk about his book on shows more than I do my own. Damn <laughs> straight. But his, he's the reason why I'm doing this. I read his book and I just went, ooh, he needs to be my friend. And so I made him my friend. I stalked him. and Which is how, really how all good friendships start. It is, isn't it? Stalking, so, yeah. Apparently, I'm going to have quite a few good friends in the near future based on that happening recently. But <laughs> looking forward to next Christmas. Can never have too many good friends. Mm-mm. <laughs> so, especially but, good friends that like stalking. <laughs> I, I honestly, I really don't want stalkers. Okay, that's a sleepy. It's, it's, just, it's, it's quite good. a long way to go here. For, for stalking um, from here. I know, so, but well, there, I, there are people in the U.S. who listen to your show too. I've listened to your show. I know there are other people here too, <laughs> who are probably close to Disney World. <laughs> so uh, you're safe with Caitlin. I don't think she'll stalk you. It's okay. It's like, yeah. I'm, she's lovely. I'm yeah. really just joking about the stalker <laughs> thing. I, I, yeah. Once, once we get a joke though, once, once we get a joke going, we'll bite on it. It'll, it'll keep going. That will come back later in the show, I can always guarantee it. Okay, good. As long as everyone listening realises that that is for entertainment purposes. <laughs> yes. This is, uh, hopefully anyone who listens to this show realises it's, it's not an instructional podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We've never been instructional before. We might start now. Never been instructional or yeah, factually book. accurate. Yeah. The book, the book so is not plan- meant to be an how-to Go either. <laughs> if you don't, if you, yeah, if you're reading it but don't know how to. There are other books we could point you to first. <laughs> so, Blue, I, I mean, you said where you had your, your inspiration uh, to write this book. So, uh, we, I was, I need to talk Go on, just ask it. <laughs> just How much of, of the real life element came into play with the stories that you told? You know, were these pure imagination or was there an element of, uh, of truth? I'm sorry, you're breaking up a little. I can't understand the question. What was that? Oh, sorry. I'll uh, I'll, I'll try and say it again. No, um, you're going out. Can't hear it. Okay. Sorry. Well, I'll, 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 I'll ask. I wonder if I'll ask for him if if you can hear mine. Um, no, I can't hear you either. <laughs> sorry. Can you hear me, Blue? Nope. Can't hear anybody. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is just gonna go downhill, isn't it? If it hasn't already, yeah, I think has it already? Jim Hill. Yes. Yeah, I, 
let's get Jim Hill on. We'll go, we'll go down on. No, let's not do that. <laughs> Hi, Jim. He probably doesn't like me, but I like you, Jim. I like I you was, too, Jim. You, 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 you both sound lovable. Why I like Ag the last. We all do, to be fair. Because I am poten- potentially disrespectful of the park, which I'm not. I'm not. I love I love Walt Disney World. So I grew up there and I have great respect for it mostly. And uh, <laughs> so uh, it, it, somebody but, else not a fan of the magic band by the sound of things. <laughs> um so no, I'm really your body. <laughs> so I'll try and ask the question again. Thank you, Craig. Um, and see if you see if this comes through a bit better this time. So I I call uh, I heard, I did hear you, Nick. I did. I I call uh, it ins- inspired fantasy. Is what I I refer to it as inspired fantasy. The stories are extremely realistic. Um, some things may or may not be true, but I really like my annual pass. So um, we'll. Leave it at that. There are, <laughs> oh, there, no, are no. there are a few photos on my blog. If you like to peek at a few photos of my blog that relate to stories, but and and, and what's the URL for your blog? Just for our listeners, obviously. It yeah. is <laughs> Blue Carson. That there's no E in my name. It's B L U C A R S O N. Dot blogspot. Dot com. Obviously, I'm not typing this in right now because I'm, I'm in a bar. Obviously, so. oh, I am. Well, that's I got Wi-Fi though. Because I hear a pen, a pen <laughs> scribbling. But yeah, bluecarson.blogspot.com. It's all kinds of fun stuff on there. You'll see a lot of Jen on there. In, in, yes, including some yeah. um, some fan fiction. Well, when I put out the when I put out the book, because the book is twelve short stories of um, realistic inspired fantasy sexual adventures that take place in the parks and resorts at Disney World. And when I put that out, shockingly, an enormous amount of people started messaging me and wanting desperately to tell me about their adventures. And so I thought, well, you know, Letters to Penthouse is really popular, and people telling their stories and such, so... I might as well give people a forum that they can tell their stories. And so on the blog, there's also a page called Dark Rides Diary. And I've had several people, Jen included, write some stories. Um, Some take place at Disney. Some take place just, you know, wherever. But they're uh, naughty tales that are there. And anybody can go take a look. And anybody is welcome to contribute to it as well. A continuation of the work performed by uh, the website formerly known as Flash Mountain. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of hoping, actually, to um, maybe, if my publisher um, is nice about it and we get enough interest from readers to submit stories, I would love to put together a Dark Rides diary book to publish with different readers contributing their stories. Um, that would be nice. I would love to do that if there were was mm. enough interest from people in you know, Disney fans who wanted to tell us about their adventures. I mean, it could be fantasy. Who knows? Mm. Honestly, I think the audience is out there. There's so many of us that go and take our children and want them to have a great time. We almost forget about ourselves. So, I... I Speaking from a mom's perspective, I think it's it's just amazing to be able to read your book that relates to stuff that I've thought about, like I said. Um, and I just, I think there's more people out there than you know that, that think the same way along the same lines. Well, they all need to go get a copy of my book and one for their friends. So, so Jen, <laughs> how, how did you stumble across the book? Actually, um, you had asked me to do a review on the book. Don't, don't, um, don't, don't give away that we asked you. <laughs> You're supposed to say, I, oh. You had read it before this that. Magic. <laughs> this is my magic. I, I was, uh, yeah, okay. actually, no, that's okay, even worse. So, isn't it? I was Googling for erotic Disney stories. That's even yes, worse, exactly. isn't it? <laughs> we asked you so to. What yeah. happened was, 
I was Googling for erotic Disney, um, and <laughs> I saw the picture of the book. And actually, you know, I thought, wow, this has to pertain. And I love food. So I looked at the picture, and it had a Mickey bar on it. I'm like, yes, this is going to be for me. Oh, wow, that's dripping off her chin. Is that from the Mickey bar? Or, And that's when I started reading, and that's the truth. That's It just... My so artwork... Something, Sorry, it, it's gorgeous. The, I love the artwork. That. Is by Holly G, and uh, she and her husband um, own Broadsword Comics. And uh, her husband is Jim Ballant, and he worked for DC Comics doing um, Batman and Catwoman. So, and she worked on, uh, I believe, Archie and Veronica. But she does fantastic work. I adore Holly, and. Um, yeah, the, the artwork is a caricature of me. Well, I say the caricature is of if Holly and I had a child, that's what <laughs> the child would look like. Is the oh, picture please don't say that's a caricature of a child. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's worse. No. It's, a very, it's a very grown woman, red hair, because um, we're, we're both... Um, uh, I guess, Big tits. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. There's Actually, <laughs> when I looked at it, and I don't mean to be like such a pervert, but when I looked at it, and I'm married, okay, um, I looked at it, and all I wanted to do was lick that drip off of her. I, I'm not kidding you. I was, it just turned me on. Yeah, just, I, ice um, cream does that to me as well. Yeah. <laughs> ice cream is a very refreshing treat. So yes. it's it's very appealing. <laughs> so, but yeah, the the artwork on the book, she is holding a, a Mickey bar with a, bite out of it and it is dripping from her mouth so it is it's a little um it you know those things are messy in the yeah. in florida heat yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, it, yeah. It, it could it could so easily be misread as yeah. how i don't know what you mean you know you know what's really weird right on, you know i'm trying to i'm just trying to sit back and kind of but, take but, this but we run a podcast but i have no idea how to talk on this particular one <laughs> did we lose no, craig no no uh, we're, we're not i'm just i'm i'm soon. still here okay <laughs> sorry he's just, he's just on mute um so what was quite what i think is quite funny is you know a few shows back we had jim hill and when we have jim hill on the show it's one of those shows where it, it, if i don't get to say a word for an hour not only the listeners happy but I'm happy because I'm listening to, to Jim talk and say what he's got to say. Um, and I've got the same feeling from you two. I almost feel <laughs> rude speaking at the moment because I'm stopping you two from talking. You're the first but, man on the planet who wants women to not shut up. That's interesting. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. yeah. And You're you my new favorite man, I'm Nick. Really <laughs> <laughs> and I think that... Um, the other Paul, we can call him Mr. D. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, Mr. D. That's right, yeah. Awesome. Yep. Ooh, I like Mr. D. That's cool. Thanks. <laughs> He's even quieter than everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to smack. <laughs> 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 As I said, for her We're book, I read it... I've, I read this book so fast that I had to read it again, and that's not like me. So I, I'm ready for the second volume. Will there that be more volumes? <laughs> you started work on the second volume, or? Um, I, I, my publisher wants volume two. Um, I'm pretty sure that as soon as I finished the edits on volume one, that my is unattractive as this may sound my brain kind of oozed out of my ear and mm. uh, yeah yeah and once it regenerates and i and i get back then i i would like to do that i have a couple ideas for some stories and i've had a lot of readers suggest some different stories um some ideas for things but they need some uh, research done before I can write anything, so yeah. Mark, I'm going. I'm I'm just having a scroll through the uh, the Dark Rides diary at the moment, and I, is I, that I, what you call it? Yeah, I'm having a quick scroll. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the sort of thing you can't do in in, in Disney World's yeah. toilets because there's a massive gap between all the doors. 
companion bathrooms, right? Bloody Americans, this is stupid up here. I want privacy while I'm taking doing whatever it is time you do. to. Myself. How are your bathrooms different? You have well, different you scroll. We have doors. What? What I scroll? Because <laughs> would anyone understand while I go for a Sherman? You know, they think yeah, Sherman. We have, we have doors at ours too. Sherman Brothers. Nothing to do with Sherman <laughs> Brothers. Believe me. Uh, anyway, what was I? I was sidetracked. Um, I, You're scrolling. I was scrolling. <laughs> I, I, it, it brought to my. It, it, it brought. I don't know where I'm going with this one. I've just started. No, I've got to finish. <laughs> Um, so I, are you scrolling fast or slow, or what are you doing? I, it, I actually, actually, I run an apple, so I'm not really scrolling. I'm just rubbing <laughs> gently. Ooh, focus, boy. Yeah. Focus. Like that. Yeah. Listener, I thought I was the naughty writer person here. I, I, <laughs> what? You bring this out in me. It's your fault. No, I, I, I wrote a book for entertainment purposes. It's not my fault yeah. if people's bodies have physical reactions. So it just brings to mind the sort of stories I found in magazines I found under my dad's cupboard when I was younger. Oh, don't blame your dad. Well, that's what I was saying about the letters to Penthouse. I wanted. Yeah. That's pretty much what it is because well, I had so many people telling me things. I, I'm I, like, ne I never believed the stories about Disney World I read until one day it happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> dot dot dot. Tell tell us all the details. Yeah, you need to submit that tale to the Dark Rides Diary. I'll, I'll just make something up, but it'll probably involve me being drunk. That's <laughs> fine. Most of my stories involve something like that. Um, I'm lapu lapu in at least one of them. That's my favorite. That's my favorite story. That, that that's one. even better than scrolling. I'm going to use that one in the future. <sighs> Three what, guys lapu lapu. Yeah. <laughs> I want to lapu have you had, lapu right now. Have you had the lapu lapu over the Polynesian? Just the once. Just the once. Just the once. It's delicious. Just a lapu. Mm, just a lapu, yeah. yeah. The recipe's in the book if you haven't tried it. It is indeed. It I, is. I, we've also ha had sort of exchanges over the Facebook um, about a dark rides adventure, a challenge. Oh, yeah. Tell us more about your tell challenge. Tell us more about the challenge. I've got two challenges now. I just released a second challenge today. Today. So, mm -hmm. the, so the book is interactive, kind of. Okay. Along, along with my website. Okay. So step one is you have to get my book in whatever format. Step two is, um, if you would like... You can get a Dark Rides Adventure VIP membership card. And those are free <laughs> if you get the signed books. There's info on my web on my uh, blog. Or they're free if you send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. I'll send you a couple. And they're a cute little membership card you can keep in your wallet. has all the drinks from the book on the back, along with my little kiss print on it. And... The first challenge is called Bottoms Up. And for Bottoms Up, what you have to do is take the copy of my book or like the front of your Kindle or ebook and have every cocktail from the book and take a picture with it. And you can make the cocktails at home, have them at a bar, or have them at Disney, wherever. But there are 13 total. And the first two people to complete them all. Um, you can win either a signed copy of my book or a copy of what we had talked about earlier, Leonard Kidsey's uh, Dark Side of Disney book. So those are prizes. Is that, is that only one go? Because first thing no, you no. Us is quite a lot. No, you, you can... But you know, that's the challenge I feel I have to take up. I've had the a challenge couple. accepted. A, you, have to, you have to give pictures of them, you know, with the book. So the, the, the last five might not be that in focus. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Close enough. And you also will get a um, Dark Rides Adventurer Challenge Winner Certificate. Also, and the cards and the certificates have more artwork on them by Holly, who did the cover. She's got a little um, caricature of of me, like hula outfit, blue. Um, 
and which then, you can actually see on a blog as well. Yes, you can see okay. all of this information on bluecarson.blogspot.com. And the new challenge that I released today for the people who may not be as um, boozy as you fellas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we have to live up to the Brits' reputation. You do, and and you're doing a very good job of it. Um, Keep it up, boys. <laughs> the, we are. Right. Keep the, new, <laughs> the new challenge is for the first ten people, and I've had two already, including Jen. Um, just put it up today, and two two have already done it. So there's eight more spots left. If you take my book to a location somewhere at Disney that is discussed in the book and take a picture of it at one of those locations from the book um, and post that picture. Then I'll send you a certificate, a challenge winner certificate. So oh, it's a great movie really ride. Fun. Get your book out. Yes. Can you imagine if, 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 people start sending you like pictures of what they actually did what you would discuss in the book and they're like oh look at we took it you know whatever the case may be can you imagine have they started doing that already um i i maybe <laughs> <laughs> look for the, the, an, the answer the answer i've been trained to give in those circumstances <laughs> is i i can neither confirm nor deny that story <laughs> I was thinking that, but I didn't get it out. So, <laughs> so what's going on? Let, let me practice. Yeah. I can neither confirm nor deny. That good that's good. That's good. That's it. There. I did not inhale. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that got on the dress. <laughs> <laughs> All related, I suppose. Like, yeah. It'll, it'll somehow. Somehow. It'll it's. it's, it's, it's I am a lady, and I am going to be a professional and appropriate. That's yeah, my mantra right now. Telling, I have to keep telling myself that because I can be a lady <laughs> when I need to be. I, I, I just don't feel like I want to be a lady right now with you guys. I, I really don't. <laughs> we'll do good cop, nah, bad, bad cop. I'll be okay. the good one, and you can be the naughty one. Right and uh, should, we call Ooh, it a, yeah, should we call it a night there that. and uh, just turn the podcast off? <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. carry on talking yeah. well you, you know what as as the great uh, I was going to say the late great but I think she's still with us as the great Lisa Stansfield <laughs> once said uh, Jen you may not be a lady but you're all woman just remember that just remember yeah. that at all times I thought you were going to say I've been life. around the world and I I, I, I can't find well, my baby I, to be honest uh, for, for a mother to say that I would be very concerned <laughs> So, well, you know, let's, let's hope be that's honest. Not the case. We, wouldn't, we wouldn't talk like this in front of our kids. This is not, this is totally different. So I feel okay with it. Um, I, just, I don't have I don't any know children, so I'm fine. <laughs> Your conscience is clear. <laughs> the rest of us here, we're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> other, right. other scenarios are available, of course. I'm going to Hollyhead tonight. That's That's close enough. To hell. That, that is yeah. close enough. Yeah. It's the road to hell. I've got that slough tomorrow. Um, what, what do we normally... I, I, I've kind of lost the plat a little. Plat? The plat? The plat? Uh, that it's on top of your head, <laughs> Nick. It's on top I of your knew, head. I knew, I knew I should have made it softer. I mean, I know you, rather than going straight you've lost the plat. Um, I, mean, I know, I know, you, I know you've got the hipster beard and everything, but tell me you're not growing a top knot as well. Uh, I think so. Um, I'm not if, you grow, if you grow a man bun, on. you are banned from the no, podcast. No, no, no. Uh, don't worry, I ban myself. Um, ladies, I don't know if if this sensation has taken uh, the United States by storm, um, but at the moment, um, and also just before I carry on, actually, I'd like to point out I don't have this. Isn't vandalism again, is it, Nick? I have no, no, no. I have a beard. It's not a hipster beard, but we do have a thing at the moment where everybody around London seems to want to have a lumberjack beard, which looks silly. Yeah. But more silly than that is they have these things. It's called tops. And what a top knot is, is something you'd expect to see a sumo wrestler to have, where the hair is not tied into a ponytail, but it is tied into a little ball on top of the head. A man bun. Of, of the man. That's oh, called a okay. tumour. Yeah. And it's called a top knot. And oh, they, my they, nephew has one. Yeah, they, they, definitely, they, they definitely oh, have, so it they have, have it in the States. One, one of the guys in the little shopping carts in the middle of a mall 
when I was out in Vegas last week. He he had one and he was advertising almost hair products as well, which I thought fucking hipster. I've sworn, haven't <laughs> I? That's it. You guess, but yeah, but well, you know what? I think this show was going to. Oh, it's going to happen eventually. Yeah. If you have yeah, me read that those... part of the book you wanted, I'm going to say a bad word. Yeah, so, well, I've already started it, so you may as well okay. read that yeah, a bit later. You may as well finish it. I wouldn't have I sworn normally. It's just that bloody top man bun. Ridiculous. Idiot. Yeah, I, I mean, if you've got if you've got the combo of the hipster beard and the top knot, yeah. then, you know, th- there's just no saving you. You know, one's bad enough, but two is just, uh, just frankly dreadful. I think my hair kind of looks like that right now. I've got the, like, disheveled librarian thing happening. On the so grounds you don't have a beard, you can probably get away with it. No, on I the do grounds, not. On the grounds that you don't have a penis, you can get away with it. I do not have that either. This is purely, this is purely a thing against men. <laughs> I keep my those husband in the actually closet. Has- a penis? A huge, he's growing it. He's a huge beard. beard. We, we are, we are talking about beard now, aren't end? we? He's not listening, thank God. But when does the beard end? I like it, but come on. Oh, thank God for that. We are uh, talking well, about actually, beard. I can, see where, I can see where a beard ends. If you've seen either uh, in the Yankees ZZ Top or recently a Hobbit film, that's pretty <laughs> oh, much where it ends. Well done, I hope not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for most people at the moment, Daniel Bryan is 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 fine. He, he's, he's the kind of poster beard, boy for beards. Who? So uh, Daniel Bryan, don't worry, Google it later. Um, <laughs> yeah, otherwise, I, 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 I mean, would, but I, my browser's I, being otherwise used at the moment for Bluecast and Blogspot. But, so. Surprising, huh? Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I don't. I, I have a job where even if I wanted to, I couldn't have one of those beards. So I just have a a beard. Well, again, actually, the girls have seen the beard tonight. They know it's not hipster. I anyway. like it. It's 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 just enough. It's it's kind of sexy. It's not really bushy. It's it's actually really nice. I, 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 I had to grow. It, I, I had to grow myself a goatee last week because someone forwarded me the uh, the viral video that's going around about bald men. Instantly, don't don't just shave your head and grow a goatee because it's instant badass. Well, uh, yeah. Appa- apparent. Have you never? Have you never seen Stone Cold Steve Austin? <laughs> I, believe me, I, I, I do not look like Steve Austin under any circumstances. No, 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 not that Steve Austin, the rest of Steve Austin. You don't look nothing like the Six Million Dollar Man. I, well, I've got one eye bigger than the other, and you can look through the back of my head. <laughs> He's also got Kung Fu grit. <laughs> But uh, that's another story for another day. Yeah. What do you normally do on this show? I, I completely it, it, lost the plot. Except for American Toilets with that gap. You can't. Yeah, he uses that for scrolling. The Sherman brothers are just... Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> Keep them doggies scrolling. Um, anyway. <laughs> we like sidetrack. Come on. We need to know some more about the book. Or just some other exploits. Nick, what's the most erotic thing you've ever done at Disney? Brilliant. I'm glad this is where the conversation took place. <laughs> Make sure you write it on my blog, please, what, and submit it the, for the what's book. What's the most erotic thing? I, I've discussed many a time what the most erotic thing I've done at Disney is. Well, tell us. Propose, propose to my now, my ex-girlfriend, now wife. That's romantic, not erotic. Totally different. He did it naked. Tell us, like... It, made it, me, made me feel erotic. Maybe you had her, um, sex somewhere on property and you almost got busted something like did anything ever happen just, like that just make it up uh, lie to us yeah just make it up good yeah just just in front of the giant mickey mouse phone at pop century because <laughs> it's got uh, quite a nice like flat flat level it's not it's, it's, it's uh, kind of sloped but you know what i mean you know you, you could yeah it's doable yeah that could happen for real yeah there you go <laughs> <laughs> we, we climbed in the back seat of a car. I think a that my hand might, rubbed like, up against make... my thigh. Lightning McQueen went, "Get out!" <laughs> <laughs> I think it would upgrade it to a mod if you do that. There, you have yeah. to pay moderate prices. They're not going to just let you have a value rate if you do that. So that's where I've been going wrong. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, Blue, they're kind of like uh, how Bill is in your one um, story at first, really quiet, and then you can get them to open up. I bet you there's a lot of things they've done that we just don't know yet. Possibly, or we're just English and repressed. Uh, to be, well, look, look, all right, to be, 
Okay, confession time. Of course. Yes. The thing is, or, or just make well, it up. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I've still got half a can left. So, we didn't have to so throw did... any Spanish Inquisition or anything. It's just confession. Sure. <laughs> That's it. Um, but see, the problem is, it doesn't relate to Disney Park. But if you if you have to hear like an Universal Sea World, <laughs> can you please stop Bush swearing parties. on this podcast? <laughs> you didn't touch a dolphin, up, did you? Can I? Can oh. I? I didn't. I didn't try and touch the blowhole. Um, <laughs> that was crazy. Um, yeah, I once. Well, the artifices once, are available. Um, I was. I was. Uh, I was young. I was young. Maybe a little bit silly. You're not going to um, break into song, yeah. are you? No. Why is that the beginning of a song? This does scream musical. Yeah, go on. To be honest, people have said quite often that I do scream musical. He's, he's so. describing the first time he bought a vinyl nation. <laughs> <laughs> As I, as that's, I, that's a, to be as honest, I, as I peeled apart that, the foil gently. Are I you using it. the vinyl mation as butt plugs? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, those ears would get in the way. Surely. No, feet no, first. No, you're all wrong. A lot of you, you're just wrong. It's a fetish. Um, so, I was, I was so looking was... for the name of what episode. To, you know, how, what totally going to be in volume two. Yeah. Totally, there's going to be a vinyl. I've just got a picture of, of Nick yeah. waddling through London. Three, hang on, no, the Mickey Mouse is there. Vinyl yeah, yeah, the three, the three inch vinyl mation or the nine inch vinyl mation? That's the question. Sure. Oh, both. <laughs> anyway, so so going back, going back to the the time that I'm going to say something on a on a public forum and regret it instantly. Um, I, I once <laughs> um, did something rather naughty alongside a verge in Norway in broad daylight and uh, a cop car or police car stopped um, just a little about 100 yards away and we managed to gather ourselves back to normality and run off into a field oh my but God, I was fornicating awesome. uh, quite in public yeah not, not... were you were you in Arendelle yeah, you know what I didn't even think of a frozen connection um, no but it's pretty nearby because it's only a small place in Norway I'm, I'm trying to think. There's got to be a pun. I can do something around letting it go, but I was just saying, just let it go. I, yeah, I, I come. You are not the first to yeah. come this way. <laughs> and we have a winner. <laughs> he, he sits quietly in the background and just pops that one in, and it wins the show. It's like winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. <laughs> um, the closest I've got to yeah, being a repressed shy nerdy english bloke at the start of the age it was back in 1988 my first trip it was myself um my sister and a friend of and, and her fiance at the time and a friend of my sister's who i was desperate to get into her pants and that's how english pants the, how old were you at the time 21 okay. <laughs> i was five Illegal. Yeah, <laughs> and we we were staying in a hotel called the Thunderbird, which I don't think exists anymore. Somewhere off of the I four, and I was convinced that this was going to be my chance, as my sister and her fiance had the one one of the double beds in the room. Oh, and you got in the wrong bed, didn't you? No, no, I worse <laughs> with the fiance. <laughs> I I I I and like a gentleman. I like a gentleman. Put um, and you know. I'm not going to name names, but I'll just call her Liz for the, for the time being. The Queen. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Oh my goodness! Um, and I, like a gentleman, now you can have that bed. Hopefully, expecting that she'll allow me to be fully pajamaed up, but at least like top and tail or share the bed. No, bitch made me spend two weeks on a hotel floor that I had paid a quarter of the time oh for God. as well. I, I was gagging for it. And it, yeah, it just wasn't the floor, the bed, all of it. It was it just didn't happen. Two weeks on a bloody hotel floor after trying to score did, with my sister's best friend. That didn't happen. Did it ever happen? No. Yeah. She didn't like long. How is that erotic? It isn't erotic. It's just it gutting. I suggest <laughs> changing the ending of that story. I, I, I might have to. To our banged up. Well, that, that would change it. I don't. I have to pretend my sister was asleep because that would make it even seedier. She was. I wouldn't want her in the same room. You at least have to have some kind of like, you know, under the cover Fumble. exploration thing. Happen. Nah, I, unfortunately, I, 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 I drink. In the I, fake I, story, I, I'll have to, to fake some. <laughs> I, I'll have to fake it because that happens. 
apparently. You can uh, bake it. I, I believe in you. My, oh. <laughs> I, haven't got any other, I haven't got any other sort of claims of frames or adult behaviour like that. I, I, I've, I've urinated on Axel Rose. That is. <laughs> <laughs> so you gave him a golden that- shower? Yes, yeah, I guess you could say that, yes. I did indeed wee oh, on Axel you. Rose. There's volume two started. You need to back up with that. We need to. You can't just say that and then like go off into it the. It was. It was yeah. like nineteen. Was it ninety four? The year of. It doesn't um, matter. It was. It was the night before they were due to play <laughs> um, Donington Monsters of Rock, and they were at a rock nightclub in Leicester called Sector Five. The Sector Five. Leicester. Dive. Yep, and I was there, and I had been drinking. I had been drinking Nuki Steam beer. Ooh. Quite quite a lot, and they were there the night before their big opening gig in England, and I went in and I leant against the urinals and I was doing my duty, and I turned around and the guy next to me, I went, oh, you just half look like Axel Rose, and as I turned to face him and tell him that, I found myself weeing down his cowboy boots, and then I came out and I spoke to my girlfriend at the time and I went, that bloke did half look like Axel Rose. And she went, that's because it is. And that bloke over there is Slash. And that bloke over there is Izzy Stradlin. How uh, ironic that you bugger, you actually... I've just had a Slash on Axel on Rose. Axel Rose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brilliant. There's nothing erotic about that. I just wanted to tell the world that I've weed on Axel Rose because I think <laughs> it deserves it. It's crazy. Wow. And he didn't, he didn't have anything to say about this? I, I don't think he knew how I took it because I was He's probably bigger than him at the time. It. <laughs> and he, he was a, he, he was only a little band. They they weren't the massive Guns and Roses they once yeah, they I mean, became. If, if Izzy was still around, he wasn't. They weren't. No. Huge. huge. <laughs> and so, next week, Paul shits on <laughs> Freddie Mercury's chest. <laughs> in in Germany, I'm guessing. <laughs> where it, where it's bar, completely bar, illegal. We... <laughs> <laughs> <Bar>. <laughs> So, so hang on. So, I've admitted to having sex in a public place, a very public place. Uh, Paul's admitted to um, giving a golden shower or to, to Axel Rose. Slash on Axel Rose. Um, come on, I want <laughs> other contributions from our other two uh, co-hosts, please. I was very dirty yeah, in the toilet. <laughs> Near where Winnie the Pooh has his breakfast. Where's that? Crystal what? Palace. Crystal Palace. Winnie the Pooh has his breakfast. The, in the toilets there. In the honey pot. Yes. I went in the toilets there and I had a poo. And there was no toilet paper. I love Craig's stories, by the way, you start off like this. <laughs> about Craig in the poo. Yeah. So I had to use one of my socks. <laughs> no, 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 no. And when I come out... What the hell is that actually? Uh, these, are, these are not erotic, are they, really? <laughs> They're just funny. <laughs> I think we're I... losing listeners and <laughs> readers from my book. This is volume this three. This is no. volume three. <laughs> I think that the ladies have to get the guys started or something. Yeah. And, well, I only had one sock with me Crocs then for the rest of the, the, the day. So that's as dirty as I get. Beware the one sock, man. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's dirty <laughs> about it? The, had... the only thing dirty about that story is I, you had socks with Crocs. <laughs> Yeah, I think what, that's more what horrifying. We, than I don't care sex. about any other fecal no, matter. He had, he had what the hell were you thinking? I did have <laughs> shitty finger. What the fuck did you do with the other sock? Mm, I, I just put it in my pocket. <laughs> or, or it round like a red hot chilli pepper. Blue's I put blue. it in my fanny pack. <laughs> I took it back to the hotel and washed it in the sink. It was, it was good to go the next day. Ew. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> And there we go. Any I'm chance? Not even any, gonna say what I was thinking. Any any chance of it being erotic? Or just completely. It's 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 all gone a bit Greek. No, no hang on. No, 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 no. Because I disagree. Because you know it's not my bag, baby. But you know, for some people, um, that that is a that is a kick. We might it? get more listeners. Uh-oh. Or the form of fetish is know. available. We don't, we don't want the kind of listeners we're going to get from that story. <laughs> just so nobody's disappointed. That type of tale is not included in my book Dark Rides. <laughs> You're not oh, going to find there's, that There's no there, particularly so. scatological stories. And yet, and yet that of course should be in volume two. Not the old nice. and a glass no. coffee table. Somehow, somehow I don't think it's going to be. 
and yes, unless I switch to a German publisher, no. <laughs> <laughs> And if you need me to explain that to you, then just don't buy my book. So I think for the first time, sorry, sorry, let me rephrase that. I think not for the first time, um, myself uh, and Mr. Boniface and Mr. Lucas have uh, have let you down. Uh, we've been disappointed to women. So I wonder if yeah, uh, Mr. Dolan I'm used to it. could actually uh, improve the fortunes. I don't think I'm going to save you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we're, on, seen, we're on our own, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. I've certainly been seen staggering <laughs> about okay, Main Street with ice cream all over my face. <laughs> on your chin. Yeah. On my t-shirt. <laughs> but usually I've got two pairs of socks on. <laughs> two pairs of socks on? <laughs> yeah. That's like never four be, socks. Yeah, you can never be too careful. That is a prepared man. <sighs> That's a, you can tell Craig's sober because he was able to work out <laughs> two, two plus pairs of two socks very four. quickly. <laughs> But that's four socks. You see, if you ever travel, if you ever travel on a train, you're safe in the hands of train dri- trained train drivers. There's the show title. <laughs> four <laughs> socks are better than none. <laughs> <laughs> also, you got, you got to remember where where Mr. Dolan first originated from, and it was very seventies. <laughs> I meant Scotland, but yes, oh. also <laughs> <Yeah>. the seventies. <laughs> I'm sure they're in something. Like make... it, if somebody says, Do you have the extra toilet paper or something? No, but I have an extra sock. Why not just bring like some napkins in your fucking pocket or something? Not just the sock. Yeah, ah, ah, no, and I'll tell you why, okay? Oh. I, I, oh, can, I can defend yeah. Craig here for this, right? <laughs> Come on, so, to, no, too late, Craig, to stop recording now. Right? So, <laughs> if you've got, if you go on something like um, the Cali River Rapids, yeah, you might get your yeah. feet wet. And then you'll have wet socks. Now, go. if you don't have a spare pair of socks, but you have some spare napkins, have you ever tried to put napkins on your feet? It does not work. No. That's so true. Not I your feet that. Warm. But I have you? quite often hidden in the bushes on the outside of Carly River Rapids with some napkins, just in case <laughs> Blue or Jen should be getting off with wet T-shirts on. <laughs> is that the closest that might the be the yeah. kingdom I, I, having a quick scroll I literally you know shook they... your hand <laughs> by the castle was it my right or my left I thought it spat at me that could be a good story Blue <laughs> sitting there watching people coming off the, yeah, the Cali River Rabbits right I'm sorry so well, you, I, I'm I sorry so you have to part. you have to leave the animal kingdom now I do have that part in the uh, that takes place in Typhoon Lagoon with the the guys who are at the bottom of the uh, Humunga Cowabunga because the girls' tops fly off when they come down that slide. Yeah, and the guys best job at Disney ever. The guys stand down there and watch for random tops to be gone. I I came down the Humunga Cowabunga. Yeah, I I came down the Mm -hmm. Humunga Cowabunga wearing a pair of speedos. And there was absolutely no way I was going to get erotic at the bottom of that. It, it's, like a water, it's like a water-powered wedgie machine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had about two litres of water up my arse when I got off it. Yeah, high-pressure colonic irrigation. Yeah. That's, that's a, the extra magic you get there. <laughs> I'm here for extra magic hours. <laughs> yes. Not a whole hour Come of it, please. And you didn't even have to be extra. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story with Travis in it, isn't it? Yes, that is the Travis. He's the southern story. guy. He's, He's the southern. giving Travis. Uh, southern. When, when, you, when you say southern, like, when you say southern, what do you mean? I not mean, from Brighton. <laughs> not from Brighton. Cause, yeah. I mean, in America, you know the <laughs> the uh, hey y'all. I, I, I know I know a Travis from Brighton, and he certainly wouldn't be standing at the bottom of. Are you all right? No, the Travis from Brighton. The, tra- that, the yeah. Travis, the southern, the southern Travis in the story just, is a lifeguard at uh, Typhoon Lagoon. Okay, because the Travis I know certainly wouldn't be looking at women. Half of everyone in England. I thought you guys Birmingham read my book. is not near Brighton. I've read the first two I chapters. Did. That's all the further you get. <laughs> yes, I couldn't go any further. I couldn't get off the bus. <laughs> I couldn't stand up. <laughs> Even turning, well, they, even turning sideways, you couldn't fit through the automatic door. No. Yeah. I couldn't get off the back cover. Even bigger than Liam Nielsen? 
Liam Neeson, yeah. <laughs> he he's, just, he, he's, yeah. Sorry, what, uh, I've missed something. Very big. Well, Liam Neeson's <laughs> cock. Yeah. No, it's very well, big. yeah, because uh, Craig said that he couldn't get off the bus because he had a boner, I suppose, is what he was trying to say. Well, that was what he was trying and to was say, so but good. then we moved on to Liam Neeson, and I'm wondering what the f- happened there. Because I'm wondering if he was as big as him, so I'm kind of trying to picture it in my mind if it was that hard to get off the bus. Where did you see Liam Neeson? Yeah, exactly where, where, how, (laughs) what what did that These guys, they told me his dick is so big, Blue, they said his dick is... Where was that? Hang on, right, can I, can I, can I just point out, although both, I, I, I admit, I admit that both me, myself and Craig have, have both publicly mentioned uh, to Jen. How big Liam Neeson's cock is? Have you? Okay. That, I would also like but, to state. I'd also like to state for the uh, the prosecution <laughs> that neither myself or Craig have actually been that close to it or bore witness to it properly. So this is all assumption based oh, on really. other sources. <laughs> oh, yeah. and, and oh. You see where the, the, the story in my mind goes because he said that it was he had this going on on the bus and he had this problem, and, yeah. and then I said, no, I, yeah. I still don't you know, understand I've, how I've, that big is. I, I, How did I've, you share that information we, we've now got, with her? I, th- I think we've got the Liam Neeson reference. I'm just, I, I hadn't realised where the Liam Neeson reference had originated from. I still don't. Until apparently, How does that even come up to begin with? It's Hollywood. Because Craig Hollywood. said he had a big dick. Or I, sorry, um, a hard on. So <laughs> I said, was it as be- big as? Anyway, as, as Paul Dolan pointed out, actually, really, we got our information from Kevin Smith. And yeah. Ralph Garman, so well, you know sure, yeah. we're kind of almost washing our hands of this now. Yeah. Although, if you accuse him of something like that, he probably isn't going to sue you, is he? Really? Yeah. For it's, that, it's, it's not the sort of oh, thing you go defama- of that, defamation. Yeah. Defamation yeah. character. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't. Sue, you wouldn't uh, sue for it, would you? No, I, I don't think so. <sighs> right, folks, I've got to go to work. That's all right. We've reached the uh, the hour mark. Um, I'm going to leave. Blue. Gonna read? Yeah, you're going to miss me reading the book. Oh, you no, are. not. No, uh, don't worry, no, I'm sure he'll listen to it. Carry on, carry well, don't on. Don't worry, that's still happening. There's a taxi waiting for me outside, so I'm going to love you and leave you, girls. Thank you very much. But, yes, um, we're uh, uh, we're going to give you the chance now to uh, read whilst we sit and listen. Just going to make so sure you do what you used to do in school. Yeah. So if we go and find the carpeted area. Yeah, we find and a carpet. We go and sit. We sit there. Yeah, we go. We go and sit cross-legged on the floor, finger on lips to make sure that we're quiet. Yeah, and then and then the story can begin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if all our listeners can also do the same, you know, wherever you are, listeners, uh, some of you may be driving. That's not appropriate to sit down on carpet. Continue driving. Uh, for no. anyone that can, sit on the no. carpeted area. Keep both hands on the wheel. Don't don't yes. drive. Do not do not operate heavy okay, machinery. Okay, if you're driving. If you're driving where you, you're listening to this part of the podcast now, drive on to a safe place to stop. Uh, if you're on a motorway, just just turn it off now from this point forward. Pick it up when you park. Um, but in that case, do not drive whilst listening to this next segment. And Everyone else, sit def- in the car, definitely. put your finger on your lips. And, and as a teaser for the book, um, if you like what you hear, go out and buy it. It's available where? It's available. It's called Dark Rides, Erotic Disney Theme Park Adventures by Blue Carson. You can find it on Amazon and iTunes, Barnes & Noble. Um, if you would like signed copies, um, there's extra charge for international shipping. But um, Bamboo Forest Publishing has the signed copies, and I put something extra in the books that are signed. So um, all those locations, just Google Dark Rides, Erotic Disney, Theme Park Adventures. And and check out the links in the show notes, because I'm going to have to write show notes to apologise for our language and to warn you yeah. not to listen to this while you've got the kids in the car. And you can apologise for the league as well. There, there are e-books, there are paperback books, and there's an audio book that I read. Yeah, it's re- all, available on Audible. I will, it's on Audible, Amazon, iTunes has audio for on all those versions awesome. and, so as and, we say in the uk it's available in all good bookshops and yes. some crappy ones <laughs> that does seem to be very accurate in, in which case i'm not even going to hit the end music right now i'm going to let you read until you feel you've given us enough enticement uh, whenever whenever you 
it gets to the part where you get to sing. Okay. That's, that's, hey. We'll go to there, okay? Okay. All right. This story is called The Birthday Present. It takes place in the Great Movie Ride. Um, it has two cocktail recipes from Hollywood Brown Derby um, that are called Diva and Alberto Dante's Millionaire Cappuccino. And I'm going to start you in the middle of the story. And the premise is my friend Jake, who is a college program cast member, and in several of the stories, it's his birthday. And myself and two other girls who are college program, Disney college program cast members, um, are have a birthday surprise for him. So... We are inside the great movie ride about to start. Okay. All of a sudden, our guide popped up into the car. It was Holly. Hey, guys, you made it, she said in her typical extra perky way. Holly was an adorable, petite blonde with a bobbed haircut and a bright smile. She was so cute and sweet. She was the embodiment of the ultimate Disney cast member. With her peppy attitude, I expected to see her working as Cinderella one day soon. She leaned over the seat and gave us each a quick hug before starting her spiel. She performed like a pro. Although we were the only two there, she carried on as if the entire ride car were full of guests. We hadn't even left the loading area yet, and we were already thoroughly entertained. As we moved under the colorful glowing lights of the first scene, I could hear the music from Singing in the Rain. Jake, am I the only one who thinks it's st- of Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange when I hear that song? Ultra violence and sex. It's another iconic movie classic. Jake tilted his head at me. That's totally fucked up. I glanced to my right and saw Mary Poppins singing. From a clockwork orange to Mary was an awkward mental transition. We moved into the gangster scene, and I slipped my hand onto Jake's thigh and quickly ran it up to his crotch. He rose up in his seat, looking slightly embarrassed. Hey, wait, is this my surprise? Perhaps. I started unbutton his shorts. When I talked to Holly the day before... She told me that people had been doing some very naughty, fun activities on the ride every night for the past week. I didn't know if there were budget cutbacks that reduced the monitoring of the attraction, or if this attraction just had such low attendance at night that nobody paid attention or cared. Regardless, the last ride of the night had become legendary with the cast members who worked there. I was shocked that Jake didn't know about it yet, since he worked in that park. Our car stopped at the end of the gangster scene. A female gangster appeared from behind the set, wielding a gun. It was Bryn. She wore a female version of a mobster pinstripe suit. The skirt was long, and she couldn't even close the jacket properly. It looked funny on her because her huge boobs were trying to force their way out. There must have been some backstage mix-up. I had no idea how she ended up wearing that clearly unapproved costume. Jake smiled at her as I slid my hand into his shorts. Bryn broke character for a second to smile back and wave hi with her gun. In the few seconds that it took Bryn to hijack our car from Holly, I had Jake exposed and hard. Given the situation, it was not that difficult of a task. Move up into her seat, I said to Jake. Jake looked puzzled. Go on. He stood up and his shorts fell to the floor. I smacked his cute ass as he spun around. Then he pulled his legs over the seat and slid down into the driver's seat of the vehicle. Bryn stood in the small space in front of him with her tits a few inches from his face. She never missed a line from her script. I leaned forward and ran my hands through the back of Jake's hair. Lift her skirt, darling. Your birthday present is waiting. Bryn kept talking into the microphone in her horrible Cagney-like gangster accent while Jake lifted her skirt. She was pantyless and shaven bare. Well, look at that, Jake. 
I never looked at the park's times guide for today. It must be no panties in the park day for the studios. I fucking love no panties in the park day, he said. Bryn looked down at Jake. Enjoy it, birthday boy. You've got four and a half minutes. She shoved Jake's face into her crotch and held it there tightly. Mind your P's and Q's and nobody gets hurt. Bryn's gangster accent was horrible but funny. It didn't improve much as Jake eagerly lapped at her pussy. She ground down onto his face while we slowly moved through the western scene. She held up the microphone and continued reciting the script. Her voice became robotic as she struggled to say the words. We moved into the next scene. An automated recording described the film Alien. Jake pulled his head back. I hate this room. Bryn barely allowed him to finish his sentence before she shoved his face back into her crotch. He wrapped his hands around her ass and gripped his fingers down into her flesh. I could see Bryn's chest rise and fall rapidly. I leaned in over the seat and encouraged Jake. You love having that warm, wet pussy rubbing all over your face, don't you? If you make her come really hard, maybe she will give you another birthday treat. I could hear Jake moan as he nodded his head up and down in agreement while it was still buried between Bryn's legs. Bryn rose up on the tips of her toes as she moaned. Jake moved his hand between her legs to finger her pussy. His mouth broke free from her clit just long enough to spread her wet lips apart and slide two fingers deep inside her. His tongue returned to her clit. Then, just as we passed under the screeching ceiling alien, Bryn screeched too. Jake pumped his fingers, sucked on her clit, and forced her to come all over his face and hands. Her head fell back, and I could see her body trembling as she panted, trying to catch her breath. She pushed Jake's head away. Within a few seconds, she dropped down on her knees in the small space between Jake's legs and happily returned her the favor. She held on to her microphone and broke away from Jake as needed to continue her script. I admired her attention to properly do her job while she continued to suck cock. We moved out of the alien room, and I couldn't help but laugh when I heard her voice continue the line in the script, That's enough creepy crawly things for one day. As the car entered the Indiana Jones room, Jake put his arms into the air like he was on a roller coaster. While Bryn sucked his cock, he sang along with the Indiana Jones theme music very loudly. Growing old is mandatory. Growing up is optional. It's after dark. The podcast is nearly the same as all the others. Paul, are you still breathing? Yeah. yeah. What about the other Paul? Yeah, it's, it's gone very quiet. How was that? That was fantastic. Thank you very much. Perfect. Jen, Lou, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Paul. Thank, Thank you, you, other Paul. Thank you, Craig, who's gone, for having yeah. us here. Yeah, it was Thank you. Brilliant. And I apologize if I swore too much. I'm sorry. Uh, do you know what? I don't really care less tonight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Meh. So, oh, brilliant. Wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, gentlemen. Very much. Thank you. We'll see you all in two weeks' time. And we're out. Thank and you. I can't be bothered to make a pun after this. See you later. <laughs>